I'm Cynthia, and I'm going to talk about the CalFlora Planting Guide. From calflora.org homepage, on the left is a planting guide where you can search for native plants that will grow well at a particular location. To start, click on the map to choose a location for where you're going to plant in a garden or a restoration site. Once you have your lo location chosen with this cross, under more criteria, you can choose yes, low water, not riparian, yes, shady. I want to check for wild plants in the same county, not necessarily within 10 miles. I would like to use soil factors to choose plants. I would like to omit plants at the edge of their tolerances, and I would also like easy to establish. I know that I'm going to plant Arctostaphylos hookeri, and I want to know included in my results what grows well with that. So I'll put that plants that grow with, and then search. 22 plants, and that's a good number for me, so I don't want to constrain it anymore by checking um, only wild plants growing within 10 miles of here. I don't want to group by life form. Fold the map up so I can scroll through and look at my results. If you would like to know where you can find seeds or plants for any of these species, click on the species name and you can go to the taxon report page to see all about where it grows in the state, photos of the species, the bloom wheel, subspecies and varieties, toxicity, if any, habitat, communities, alternate names, and more information about. CNPLX takes you to the nursery and seed sources, and you can find which one is closest to you. And location suitability shows you why this particular species was chosen as a result. So for instance, for the California coffee berry, the plant tolerates this elevation and this precipitation, this wet season, these soil factors, and the values at my orange cross are these values here in the right column, and that's why it was chosen. If you have any questions about your results, um, copy and paste the hyperlink, go to the CalFlora homepage, and at the bottom you can email us and include the hyperlink in your email. Thank you.